What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today I thought I got a question so I thought why not make a video on that. This is not from uh, the direct uh, topics which I speak but this is related to one of my playlists. So I thought yes why not let's change the menu today. <laughs> so today's topic is the question how to be a alpha male yes 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 how to be a alpha male yes that's the topic of today yes if you don't know who is alpha male or who is supposed to be alpha male or if you want to know that are you alpha male or a beta or a gamma <laughs> then watch this video till the end all right and if you are new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation approach me through my website below and if you want me to make any other video like this then also let me know and so many of you have given me the things to make so i have uh, i'm going to note it down everything very soon and so that i can remember because my intelligence is also limited so many people say do this do that make video on this on that so i forget sometimes so i'll make a note of it and serially i will make sure that everything is coming all right there you go and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you become a alpha male <laughs> if you want to be all right so basically what's the definition of alpha male yes there's no uh, specific definition but alpha male is basically the uh, perfect version of a masculine person yes a male person basically so basically that person is very strong, very headstrong, very goal oriented, very career oriented. He has a purpose. He has this, he has that. He has a good physique. He knows how to talk. He knows how to get things done. He's like Arjuna basically. <laughs> because in the Mahabharata there is this example of Arjuna who is known as Falguni. Yes, because Falguni means, there are many meanings to this word Falguni. One of the meanings is one who is perfect he was known as gurakesha one who did not sleep yes he was like the epitome of perfection he knew everything he knew how to dance he knew how to fight he knew how to talk in a way that uh, things are very easily achievable yes so we have to take lessons from the life of this person otherwise if we uh, go on taking lessons from the life of sports stars cricketers or film stars movie stars actors actresses then uh, we may learn so many other things which is not conducive for our life so whenever we want to know something from the contemporary world we must go back to the scriptures and from there we must try to understand how these great personalities they behaved yes let's talk of another alpha male who is another alpha male yes 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 hanumanji <laughs> <laughs> perhaps he's the perfection of all alpha males now imagine if all the alpha males were standing on one side and then hanumanji is standing on one side my god hands down to everybody <laughs> so what makes a person alpha male yes so basically alpha male is a perfect male person yes he executes all the duties of a male person yes Ex exuberates confidence and He's very manly, very masculine, very much driven. Yes. So all these imaginary traits are prescribed to alpha male. Yes. So now the question is, should we aspire to be alpha male or should we answer it later? Let's first discuss how to be alpha male. Yes. So if somebody wants to be an alpha male, what is one prerequisite? It's not the prerequisite, I would say. It is like saying that's the most important criteria for alpha male. What is that? The alpha male does not run behind anybody. Yes, the alpha male does not need anybody. He wants somebody. Should I repeat? The alpha male does not need anybody. He only wants somebody. Do you understand the difference between need and want? <laughs> need means you cannot stay without something. Yes. And want means even if you don't have it, there's not a problem. But if it's there, it's good for you. Yes. So alpha male, the first it is the first and the most important qualities. You should not have the dependency on anything in this world. Yes. Only then you can claim that I am an alpha male because when you are attached to something or somebody, then your energy gets low because then you have to go round and round around that thing or around that person yes so if 
you are attached to somebody and you think that you are alpha male then uh, that's not the case here because then whatever you want to do that person may hinder that or your own vision is clouded when you are attached to something or somebody it can be anybody so the first quality of alpha male or perhaps the last qualities that we need to have detachment yes and we need to be very strong internally otherwise we cannot be alpha male yes for those who want to be an alpha male because then you will not have clarity in life you will not have goal direction aim purpose then you will not be alpha male then probably you'll be a beta or a gamma or a theta male <laughs> yes but for that to not be attached you have to be very strong inside and lord krishna says in the gita that sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti mlabate para lord krishna says very beautifully that when one attains me or when one is totally peaceful one is calm brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kankshati when one is not hankering or lamenting sochati kankshati hankering means what you want something i want this i want this i want this i want that lamenting means oh i didn't get this i didn't get that i didn't get him i didn't get her yes so when somebody is hankering he or she is in the future yes and when somebody is lamenting then that person is in the past yes oh i had this break up that person is gone i don't know who will i meet next yes so that means you are hovering around in the past so a person who has hankering or lamentation that person can never ever 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 become alpha male that's not possible because alpha male you only become when you stay at the present yes which means that you have to be, be in present and execute your goals yes that's what is said radical action suppose you want to open a youtube channel and you want to spread something which you have some of your talent maybe you are a great singer or you play the guitar very well or you play the drums very well or you speak on social topics or maybe a channel on astrology or on bhagavad gita whatever it is then instead of sitting and wondering when will i have a million subscribers yes which most of the people do unfortunately we have to be in present and focus on making videos because if you are not making videos then nobody is going to see us and if nobody is going to see us how will you get 1 million subscribers right so the goal should not be to have 1 million subscribers because that's just a number right because number doesn't mean it's a small number it means that that is just another phase in your journey that's like one of the checkpoints that's like one of the places which you also cover along with all the other places you have 100 subscribers then you have 1000 then you have 10000 then you have 50000 then you have 1 uh, lakh then you have 1 million subscribers yes so that's how it happens so you have to be in the present yes and for that you need to be very spiritually elevated elevated doesn't mean you have to be a perfect person but you have to have spiritual practices throughout your day throughout means especially in the morning and if required in the evening mantras then uh, you have to have a good lifestyle a balanced lifestyle you cannot do anything and everything what uh, you want and then you uh, sit and think oh when will i become alpha male yes because then what will happen suppose you are taking alcohol for example now somebody will say no no why are you saying like this i take alcohol only once in a week it doesn't matter i'm not asking of the frequency but i'm concerned with do you take or not yes so if somebody is taking alcohol that means that person is attached to that yes there is some level of dependency on something so whenever there is dependency on something or on somebody then we cannot be an alpha male yes and who cannot have any dependency who can claim that i do not have any dependency only that person who is very highly elevated spiritually because the only person he is dependent on is the almighty yes god himself only that person can claim that i don't need anybody <laughs> yes otherwise nobody can claim like that because when i say this that we cannot claim that we don't need anybody some people tell me especially women i have met yes now they will tell me that i have met many women like this so that is why i am specifically taking their examples yes so they will tell me oh we don't want to get married we don't need any man we can stay without a man no i didn't say man yes if you don't get married and if you think that you are a very great person you are very strong well then maybe you have a big bunch of friends yes so 
that's what i want to say just because you are married it doesn't mean you are a weak person or just because you are single doesn't mean you are a strong person okay maybe that may be the case but that's not necessary that just because somebody is single yes that person is very strong maybe your expectations for your uh, partner is so high that there is no uh, girl or boy who can fit into those expectations yes and you are miserable inside yes now if a person is happily staying single that's a different story altogether but most of the people are not most of them are either frustrated that i don't find somebody who i want or i lost that person yes and that's the reason why you are single most of the people 99% 1% of the people will meet someone who will say hey i am very happy single i don't want i don't want anybody i don't need anyone i am fine and even if they say that to what extent is that true yes anyways whatever it is but the point is Uh, it has nothing to do with marriage or relationships so basically what i'm trying to say is wh- whichever area we are either we are married or we are single it doesn't matter but we have to have spiritual practices by which we can be very strong inside yes then nobody nobody means nobody nobody can say oh this person is dependent on me <laughs> because even if you are financially independent Yes, many people say, "Oh, we are financially independent. We don't need our parents now support, uh, to support us monetarily." But then you may be uh, dependent in other ways. Yes, in the hands of somebody. No comments here. <laughs> so that means that person will suck away our energy or that thing, addiction or whatever you call it. Yes. So that means we have to be very strong internally. Only then we can claim we don't need anybody. Yes, and then. we can be in the present and then we can execute our goals properly and then when you are executing your goals only then you can say that i am in the present and only then will you be in the category of alpha male all right but if you are hankering or lamenting well then that's not going to happen yes so that's what is an alpha male that is the meaning of a alpha male that one who is very much goal oriented in life yes there are many uh, connotations to this which i will not go into detail but i hope uh, everybody is understanding what i am saying here but the point is we have to be spiritually well grounded instead of using the word elevated i would use the word grounded yes because then what happens we don't need anybody other than god yes we may want somebody but we don't need need anybody yes that's a very high elevated stage of course we cannot be there but that is our aspiration that is how we slowly slowly grow in our uh, spiritual journey yes so for that what we have to do we have to make sure that every day without fail yes we have certain spiritual practices like we chant mantras in the morning and those mantras that have to be chanted in the evening we also chant them and in the time possible whenever it's possible for us especially in the weekends if you are married then we visit the holy places nearby us or places where there are holy people yes <laughs> we don't have to go to uh, makka madina jerusalem or uh, mathura vrindavan jagannath puri all the time yes we can go to our uh, local city center or some temple where there are holy people who can enlighten us yes one who can uh, tell us about the divine truths of life and death yes birth old age disease death जन्म मृत्यु जरा व्याधि दुख दोषानु दर्शनम एज लॉर्ड कृष्ण से जिंदगी था दैट बर्थ ओल्ड एज डिजीज एंड डेथ आर फोर मिजरीज व्हिच टॉर्मेंट द लिविंग एंटिटी सो व्हेन वी एसोसिएट विद होली पीपल हु आर आल्सो लाइक अल्फा मेल्स यस देन ओनली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी कैन आल्सो स्टे विदाउट एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड यस सो basically the point is very simple we have to be strong spiritually only then we can be focused in our material life otherwise you see people always distracted what does the average person do the moment he goes home he will open tv right he will open the tv and he will start hogging on useless garbage of this world like politics or which cricketer got married to which film star yes they will watch serials and no comments <laughs> so then you are not in the category of alpha male if you are doing that because then what happens that means you don't have any purpose in life you are simply wasting time running after entertainment that means your life is boring right so we need to make sure that we cultivate a good lifestyle by which we are positive throughout the day using spiritual practices and whenever possible we uh, 
do go and visit spiritual gatherings by that we will have sufficient inner strength that we do not delight in the useless garbage and the useless rubbish of this world yes like tv cinema movies all this garbage that's not going to serve us in any way because that will simply make us forget full of our original identity yes what is our original identity that we are spirit soul we are part and parcel of god that we have to go ahead towards god in our spiritual journey yes if that is not happening everything else is happening it's not going to work all right so even if you don't want spiritual progress but even if you want to be a so called alpha male yes in this material world you still need to be spiritual yes so without that you will not be alpha male because you will be running behind women or if you are a woman then you will run behind men yes so many people i know then you will be controlled then they will be the remote control of your life yes so i always give this example one of my friend he wanted to do mba but his girlfriend said you cannot do mba and then he's like oh, okay okay if you say i will not do mba i mean seriously just because she said you can't do you don't do it yes tomorrow she will say you can't talk to your mother you can't talk to your father she may say that yes if the lady is so whimsical that she doesn't let him pursue his career or goals how in the universe can you trust that that lady will uh, not say that don't talk to your parents yes she may say and then what he will do he will very religiously uh, very obediently like a humble loyal dog yes obey the orders of that lady then what happens you are not in the category of males only what to speak of alpha beta gamma and theta <laughs> all right so that is what i wanted to say that we have to have spiritual practices lined up throughout the day whenever possible we should not uh, lose the opportunity and we can hear different audio tapes of different swamis in youtube so many places are there these days so many uh, spiritual things are coming up and by that we will have inner strength internal strength will be there power will be there and then we will not have the uh, need to run behind anything of this world yes and then we can be very strong and whichever goal or purpose we are having you want to open a company you want to open a startup you want to open a youtube channel you want to open a business you want to uh, crack a interview you want to crack a entrance exam whatever it is you can just do it bang on yes so that is how you understand because then there will be no distractions yes if you are spiritually strong inside and if you are not then you have to uh, run behind things of this world or people yes all right that is it from my side oh yeah and lastly should you uh, try to be a alpha male no that's not necessary just be yourself i don't know what definitions are there for alpha male but this is what i have heard and people have been asking me so i have just made this video just be yourself may uh, have a good spiritual life and then by that your material life will automatically be uh, in a place yes and then it doesn't matter the world calls you alpha male or a beta male or a gamma male it's just simply a reference but the important thing is that we maintain our uh, spiritual commitments and we maintain our spiritual connection to our gurus yes that is the most important thing if that is there then everything else will fall in place if that is not there even if you are a so called alpha male you are a millionaire or a billionaire or if there are thousands of ladies running behind you because of your alpha traits yes you uh, will simply disappear one day in the midst of time yes you will also become one of the names in the history pages okay so that is it for my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation <laughs> or if you want to know that <laughs> how will you become alpha male and you want to talk to me then you can always go to my website and book a consultation yes or if you want me to make any other video on any other topic then also let me know all right and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is searching how to become alpha male okay that is it from my side wish you good luck with your alpha traits <laughs> bye bye see you Oh, 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 oh,